Wikipedia is the fifth most popular website in the world and people go on it 32 million times a day but actually the representation of women and people of colour is pretty bad and as we know there are a bunch of phenomenal women scientists and phenomenal people of colour scientists so today at APS we're trying to get their biographies onto Wikipedia. We've got a whole bunch, a whole long list of, of women physicists who've done really sensational science and we're going to be putting together their biographies. We're going to be searching around on different websites to get a whole bunch of references and then we're going to be writing their biographies onto the site. So some people might just edit another page and make it better, but some people might start a whole page entirely and write the biography of someone who other people don't know about yet. It's super important for us to raise awareness of people's contributions to science just because they've furthered our understanding of the world. They've developed new techniques, new ways to look at things, new ways to think about things. And it's important for history that we have a system of making sure that all of those opinions and ideas and experiments and everything is documented fairly. But it's also important from a representation perspective because we have a bit of an image problem in physics that it's mainly done by old white men. And as we know, if you look around APS today, that's just not true. So we as scientists have a responsibility to tell the world, actually, there's a whole bunch of people doing physics and they look very different to the way that you think physicists look. And hey, here they are, here they are and that's why we're putting them on Wikipedia. APS TV comes to you straight from the March meeting in Boston. Make sure to come back and explore all of our great content updated each day of the meeting.